Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing really well and welcome to our home. Um, so today, as you can tell by the title, today's video is a full house tour. Now I've been wanting to do this for so long um, but there was just more obstacles that got in the way. Having a newborn, moving house and having a child start school. The first year of living in this home was all to do with a new baby and adjusting to life as a family life, which I feel like now Oliver is just over two and our life is finally just like calming down. I'm sure I said this about a year ago. I do feel like I said this a year ago, but it actually does feel like it's calming down. So, Jack's taking the kids out. I've had a chance to get ready, um, which never happens. Never. I'm not grumbling, I'm not grumbling. So, um, yeah, so what I'll do is, in each room I'll show you round, and then we'll have a little chit chat. When we first moved in this house, mood boards and things that I wanted to do with it, but, like I say, having a baby, yeah, that had to go on the back foot. Welcome to our home, um, and let's roll. Welcome to our home. This is how we are greeted. Uh, so let's go in. So as you come through the front door, you've got a wide area and this is what the selling points because I thought with a push chair or not even just with a push chair, you know when the kids are coming in from school, um, we've got an actual area to stand in, not a long corridor. So yeah, so this is the first thing that is greeted. So we do have the stairs that go up and twist all the way to the top which i love because i just like the fact it feels very open you know so i can always see and hear the kids um so yeah so let me just show you on the other side so as you come in you might have seen this on other videos so this is just an ikea shoe rack but it's so nice because obviously they're hidden um and it's got a real handy drawer for rubbish <laughs> Um, and then I just thought I'd put some pampas grass on here. Um, I was actually really sad because this is the doorbell. What a place to put it. Uh, because I did want a nice arched mirror to go over the top of it. But uh, that might be something that we do later on. Even if we could just move it from here to maybe in that corner. That would probably be better. Don't know how much of a big job that is though. But I'll leave that down to Jack. He's the electrician. So yeah, so that's how you come in and this is how it looks. Um, what we're thinking of doing is having a under stairs cupboard here. And then what I would like to create from this point is a nice like console with maybe a lamp because Jack's going to fit me a plug down here. Um, maybe a lamp. Um, just a nice big candle. I just think it'd be nice and welcoming with the baskets underneath. I think that will look so nice and I can do that up for different occasions. So like Easter, Christmas. So I think that's really nice. As you come through, let me just show you from this angle. So we have got big glass doors that take you into the living room. Um, but what I loved about this is the fact that you can open both doors, I know if only just open one, but you can open both doors and you can literally just entertain and um, the house just flows so nice. So I think this is quite a nice size living room. So as we go in, um, we've got this beautiful, I always get so many compliments on this. It's not a TV stand, this is a console table I think. I think that's what they're called but I just love it as a TV stand. Jack actually drilled a hole in the back of it so we could just put the wires through but I love it so much. Um, I will tag as much as I can down below just in case you're interested, just in case you're having a look. Um, I think the selling point to this room is, just bear with me, hey Google, turn the living room light on. 
was the fact that it has not just one bay window but two bay windows all thinking about creating in the garage um half a garage half a playroom study room computer room for the whole family to use so um and then in this corner of the room if we haven't already got enough windows this is our second one so this is as you come up the drive so it's quite nice that you can see who's coming and who's going from your home. Let's just talk about the elephant in the room. These settees, don't get me wrong, when we lived in the old house, they went so well because um, of the chestnut theme. But we are getting new sofas. But I can't see it being this year because we are busy at the moment. Um, wedding planning paying for the wedding so it will definitely be something maybe next year i want a nice lighter and brighter um settee lie i don't know why but i get so many comments from people that come in and say i love your light so it's like a lamp with a table it's from next it's stunning i love it um i actually had a look on their website yesterday and they still have them which is lovely because we've had it for about two and a half years now. I want a real nice picture of the kids to go on this wall with, um, I'm not sure if I want it black and white or I want it like them all wearing beige because I want this to be a very beige room, very natural, lets in a lot of light. Um, so yeah, so tell me what you think. So I'm thinking of having something on this wall and then on this wall, I'm thinking about having panelling. Don't know what kind of panelling. I just want to bring something to the room, um, but I don't want to overpower it. And I think um, I wasn't going to, but I am thinking of having some nice curtains made to measure to give it that cosy vibe of when we're all snuggled up on the settee, watching a nice film, relaxing. So, as you leave the living room, you go back into the hallway. This is the downstairs toilet, not really much going on. I want to keep it clean, fresh. So I've added a little plant from Ikea and I think all these black bits were from, I can't remember if they're from Dunnell Mills or Wilco's. The Wilco's are all gone now anyway. But yeah, I want to add a little bit of colour, a little bit of warmth to it as it is quite quite cold looking. Um, a lot of the Harren Homes toilets are in the utility room and I hated the idea of somebody having to go through my utility room to go to the toilet. So the fact that it's in here so as you walk in, especially when the kids come home from school, it's so handy because, oh, mum, I need the toilet. Straight in, straight there. They don't have to be running through the house. So yeah, so this is now we are going into the kitchen. Um, another glass door, which makes it so nice and um, light. Now, I think you have seen the kitchen maybe a few times, but uh, let's have a look at it at great depth because this is a space that I actually love spending a lot of my time. Um, there is gonna be some changes in here very soon, uh, maybe August time, um, but I will, like I say, I'll talk you through what we're thinking about doing and let me know what you think. This is the kitchen. So yes, this is our little coffee station. Now, I did want shelving, but let me just show you how our cupboards open. So they actually open like so. And I didn't really want a poxy little shelf. I wanted something substantial. Uh, so because our cupboards open like that, it's really difficult to put actually anything on the wall. So it's a little bit of a pain. Um, I did like the cupboards, but I've soon realized that they aren't very deep. <coughs> and then we've got the wine cooler that never has wine in it, but it has plenty of Pepsi Max. 
um, sparkling water and fruit juices and cans so um, not what we desired to be in there but essential so yes so the things that we are changing so we're getting rid of this backsplash because I cannot stand stainless steel I can never look it get it looking clean oh and it just drives me wild so what we're going to do is have tiles that come all the way across this bit on this bit all the way around to here um so yeah so we're going to have the tiles done um we're going to get rid of the stainless steel sink um i'm hoping to go for a nice in the same shape of this going into the worktop um but a nice like cream pot that's what i'm hoping for that's what i want and change the taps to make it more of like a country cottage kind of vibe so jack put the underneath counter lights which i do love and then we're also getting rid of the gas hob and we're going to have one of the um electric ones i don't like gas and it's a bloody nightmare to clean <laughs> i know it may be look all right at the minute but it never ever stays like that so yeah so that's what we're thinking so a electric hob nice creamish tiles going all the way around and nice pot sink i think it'll just make such a difference and because i can't have shelves over where the coffee station is i think i'm going to get rid of this love art and i'm going to have two nice wooden um shelves here just to put some little bits on to just bring it in to make it cozy and not so eerie if that makes sense i want it to be nice and cozy um and then eventually we will be getting rid of this floor because this floor is a vinyl like a real hard vinyl because i was ever so worried when they were going to put this in because i was like oh my god remember vinyl back in the day I'm talking to the floor let's pop you up here yeah can you remember like the old vinyl where you used to go in and it used to be like real spongy that's not what i wanted but if i'm honest it is really warm flooring i just don't like it I'd rather not be warm that's what I'm saying I'd rather not be warm so yeah so I really would like um, some nice um, flooring throughout something that just brings it a little bit together I've got a couple of ideas of what I want I'm just not sure what color I still want to keep it quite light which is moving on to the dining room so this is like a orangery that we have got just coming off the dining room table um i love it i think it lets in so much light but the vision that i wanted was not to have a tortoise tank in it. our vision for this space is going to change over maybe just before christmas um if we can we're going to have a log burner put here and a nice big thick chunky chair in the corner and i just think it will look so cozy having a nice chunky chair there and having the log burner here i will try and insert a picture of the log burner that i want to go for but yes that is the vision for him to be moved and then this side is the dining room i wanted a big table so we could entertain do christmas get togethers and things like that so which is just great uh, but i do i just love this space um again i'm thinking of removing the clock and i have a nice drop light that goes here and i think what i'm going to do is get a television to go on the back i think the kids would absolutely love that me on the other hand wouldn't so but i know the kids would and jack would um this is oliver's paint it is that's oliver's 
bedroom which is a breakfast room green i could show you the tester that we put on the wall as we go upstairs so the visions for in here um is maybe have some kind of like wall unit with the television in ideally i would like to move that the radiator from here to here Again, I don't know what how big a job that will be. This will be definitely something that we look for in the future. This this is the question. Is it a room without a door? But I love it. I love the arch so much. I just think it brings so much character to the house. And this was another reason we went for a Harren Homes. Because a lot of new builds now are very boxy very square and i just don't like it i like a house with a little bit of character with the bay windows and i just love the arch so in here pretty much is going to stay um the same i would like to decorate in it and i wouldn't mind getting maybe um a piece of artwork to go on here just above the radiator and this is the door into the garage now, if there's no judgment on this channel, shall we say, I will pop in, but it's literally going to be a quick one because, like I say, it's not great. So, I don't actually know what you can see, what you can't see. Oh my God. So, that is the daughter's gymnastics mat. Um, we do have an electric garage door, which is an absolute game changer. But as you can see, it's ridiculous. It needs sorting. Um, I'll quickly brief. So, just the silver box here, if you can see that, that's where the studded wall will go. Um, so, it'll be quite a decent size playroom for us but yeah we don't need to see any more of that <laughs> goodbye that's where i keep all the crap if you're thinking your house is quite tiny victoria that's why so that's the utility room this is the kitchen diner so now what we'll do is we'll have um we'll have a look upstairs shall we is the um, landing. The reason we don't have a light at the moment is because I'm having it moved from there to more over the stairs because I want a bit of a dangling light. So that is what we're waiting for. That is Jack's job. So yeah, so this is the landing. I'm going to paint it a nice, um, warm, stone colour I'm thinking just to make it more homely a little bit more warm a little bit more cozy so yeah so as you come to the top of the stairs um we'll take you into our bedroom um so we've got built-in wardrobes either side so these ones are jacks and obviously the bigger ones mine us ladies just have more things. So I'll put the big light on. So we've all seen my bed. Like, I just love her. It's just so nice. Hey Google, turn on the bedroom lights. So I'll turn off the big light and I'll just make, show you how cosy it looks when we get into bed. So it's an Ottoman bed. It's fantastic. Um, I will link as much as I can down below and my gorgeous blind which I think is absolutely stunning is from blinds to go and then at the bottom of our bed we have our TV and our little bits and bobs this is currently my where I get ready um, before finding out I was having Oliver Oliver's bedroom was going to be my dress room but obviously we got a bundle of joy instead. So this is our bedroom. It's such a nice calming place. So the things that I want to do in here are really, really simple. I would like some new bedside tables and some lamps. Um, I'm gonna have a new light in here. I do love this light, but it is nothing 
but an absolute pain. Maybe if you didn't have an ottoman bed, it wouldn't be so bad. But as you can see, we are currently missing one. We've got it, but the actual bit that stuck onto it, we can't find anywhere. Um, I do love the light. So yeah, so this is the bedroom and then here is our ensuite. Um, so let me tell you a little story about this ensuite. I'm telling you now, I did not choose this floor. So this floor is like a grey and our tiles are cream. So I definitely know that I didn't, but I couldn't be bothered to argue because I knew I wanted to change the floor in the bathroom anyway. So we've got the double shower um, and then we've got the sink and this is just another Ikea make do cabinet just because i don't like sea bottles um and then we've got a little window and there is our toilet so the things that i want to do in here are i wouldn't mind maybe a wooden blind more of a nice wooden blind because i want this quite a bit of like a spa area i want it nice and tranquil and this that and the other i just want it so relaxing and instead of having a cabinet here i want this to be one of the lights mirrors that you can buy you can just switch it on light it up um so you don't have to have these lights on when you are maybe having an evening shower and you just want to relax at the moment i just put candles on and so forth um and then maybe swapping the sink and having one that's built in to a cabinet so I can put all my bits and bobs in there. Um, and then we are going to go for a nice, quite rustic um, cream flooring with underheating on so we can, our little toes are warm as we get out the shower. Um, and then we've got this radiator in, which I'll be honest with you, when we moved in, they was like, oh, what's that? And they were like, it's a radiator. I was like, yeah, I could see that, but where's our towel radiator? But oh, uh, Mrs. Bunting, that doesn't come as standard. And I was like, excuse me? Why did that not make mention to us? And why was I not made aware of it? So it's nice. It keeps this room so warm. And I know a towel radiator won't, but I do like a towel radiator in a bathroom and then we are going to change the tops and turn them all to chrome just so it matches a little bit better and it just looks a little bit more put together so yeah so that's what we're going to do in the bathroom and I would like some shelves on this wall just to put my like little bits on again to pull it together and make it more homely so we're now back into the hallway um and as you come out of ours, now you're going to have to excuse Oliver's bedroom because I will just have a little quick look in there um, because there's a lot of things that we've been moving around um, and because it's going to be decorated next week. So as you walk into Oliver's bedroom, um, you come in and this is how the layout so this is the green let me take a little seat so this is the green that we've gone for i just thought this one was too dark i kind of like this one and i was um and an in and i thought do you know what i've got to make a decision so i really do like this one and then i don't know if you can see this is like the cream we're going to go for so i'm going to do his bedroom maybe maybe something like that from the floor to there um, and we're going to go all the way around and just on this wall and that wall, I think. Um, but I need to make a decision because, like I say, it starts next week. Come out of Oliver's room, you have now got the children's bathroom um, in here. So this has got a shower and a bath in it. Um, not changing a great detail deal in here um the shower is staying as it is um i think we're going to choose sorry i think we're going to change the shower head the bath is going because this bath i call it a coffin bath it is the most uncomfortable modern bath i've ever laid in 
Um, you can just see it. Look, it's... What even is that? It just doesn't scream comfort, does it? Um, so we are going to have a new bath. Um, I'm thinking I'd like the tap in the middle. We have still got some areas so we can move the bath out quite a bit. Um, so we can get a bigger bath. I just want it a nice, curved, comfy, soaking. If I can have a freestanding one, if we can still get the same tiles, I will have a freestanding bath because I just think they look insane. Um, and then on this wall, and we're going to get rid of get naked, and then I want a full mirror on that wall. I just think it'll look. It was in the show home like that, and it was just spectacular. And I've seen a company in Chesterfield that do them and so it's not very far from us it's probably about 40 minutes to an hour say um so i'm going to get them to do that um and the same again with this room it's quite it's quite nice it's the girls keep it really well um i would like another cabinet under here and maybe maybe just keep that as well because you know my daughter's turning 11 she's got more skincare than what i've got but Oliver and Darcy still enjoy the toys for the bath, which I think would be nice if we could have a cabinet there just to put all them away. Um, and then it just makes it look more easy on the eye. Again, we're going to change the floor in here to put tiles down. But I want, I want a real pale grey through. And then we... Which one shall we go? Darcy's or Amelia's? We'll come into Amelia's because after Oliver's, hers is the next room to be done uh, just because it's the quickest. So as you walk into Amelia's bedroom, you have got her humongous bed. Like, it is so tall. Um, and it was from Ikea. Um, and she loves it. Well, I say she loves it, it's going. So let's put a light in here so it looks a little bit more cosy. So she's got her beautiful feather light. So what she's having in here is she's getting rid of this bed and she's having a double bed with two bedside tables. We're moving this desk on to that wall. And then these drawers are going so this is at the end of her bed um so these drawers are going her television is going on the wall um and then she's not going to have anything there whether or not she wants her desk but i don't think she will i think she'll prefer a desk on this on the wall that her bed's on at the minute uh, just for her able to walk around her double bed um we did these built-in wardrobes for her last year jack's just got to finish it off so we bought some beading to go around it but it was too big um so what we've decided to do is we're gonna need to get some thinner beading and just to finish it off so just to make it look like it's built in and then put the skirting board at the bottom but like i said we have just said look looks just wait until her bedroom's done so then on this side she'll have her double bed in the middle we're going to do um paneling across the back halfway with like the little picture shelf and we're going to paint it a real pale gray um and then just have like an off-white um just to make it a little bit more cozier um and give it that nice grown-up vibe and then she can have two little bedside tables with two lamps on because that's what she wants um, but yes, this Amelia's bedroom is actually over the garage, so it does get quite cold. Um, so that's another thing that we're going to have to look at before we do any work. But like I say, hers is really simple. A double bed, the panel in the back, finish off a wardrobe and she's done. Um, she's got one of these, like, are they like called a cabin bed? It might not be a cabin bed. Um, but yes, so Darcy has got some changes happening. She's also got a feather light, which she loves. Um, so she's got a drawers and a television here at the moment. And a little, the cutest vanity little table. It's so cute, so nice. And she just wants to be so grown up like a sister. 
But then on the other hand, we've still got Darcy's hundreds of millions of toys. Um, so let me give you an update what's happening in here. So Darcy, a, a single mattress can fit in that area perfectly. So it was meant for wardrobes, I think. That's how it was in the show home. But I'm thinking of putting Darcy, getting Darcy a specially made bed to go in there. Having her television on the wall. Again, I want some half a wall panelling with a nice pastel pink and a little picture shelf. Um, with some twinkling lights that go across there. She's all for it. Um, and then, she's not 100% sure, but she thinks in this corner... What she's going to have is some nice drapes um, and scatter cushions on the floor so she can have her reading corner there because she is a bookworm. And then we're going to give her some little shelves on the side here and that's going to be her little domain where she likes to do her thing. And then on this side, we're going to have built-in wardrobes. Um, so quite, quite big ones um, because... We're going to store some of these toys away so she can just get them out in boxes play with them and then she can put them away um, and then her little vanity table will probably come on this side with her books and things because she does like to write on it but yeah so that is darcy's bedroom i hope you've enjoyed my tour around the house um there's one thing that i forgot to show you so we picked up this i don't know if anybody's used it before um but that is the shade. So that is the shade we are thinking about going on our fence outside. Um, I think I'm going to love it. But this is a little tester pot. So my partner's stepdad, um, he actually does spraying for a, used to do spraying for a living. So he's kindly said he's going to come and do it for us. And yeah. If you've got any ideas, do not hesitate to put them in the comments. I'll see you next Sunday, guys. Sending lots of love. Bye.